Hello and welcome to a brand new series. I'm calling this All Code Sucks, um, where I show you some real live code that I've seen running in production. And instead of making fun of it, we're gonna use this as learning opportunities. Uh, hopefully show you a few cool things as well as how to improve the strange code examples. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first one that we're gonna talk about today is some unnecessary Boolean logic. And I see this happen all the time, and I'm gonna show you some cases where it's sort of necessary, but a better way to write it. Uh, and so let's show that example here. Okay, so this is completely contrived. This is not related to the original code where I found this, uh, but it is a common mistake that I see pretty often. Uh, the start of this is someone has written either a function or I, you know, some part of the code or if branches or something like that. And the code ends up looking something like this. Uh, return true if x equals one, else false. Uh, or alternatively, it's written as if x equals one, uh, return true, else return false. And while this code works and, you know, functionally is, is useful, either of these do some sort of unnecessary Boolean things. And uh, honestly, anytime you see yourself doing return true, return false, you might want to think about another way to write this. Uh, conveniently, this expression right here, this equality expression itself already is a Boolean. So you can eliminate this entirely. So you can just say return x equals equals one, same, same is true for this. So this is the sort of nicer way to write this. Now there are some cases where this doesn't quite uh, do what you want. So one example is if you have, uh, let's say a nullable um, object here, and this is checking if x is non-zero or non-none is what this expression does here. Now this is actually a useful way to write this. However, I wouldn't write it this way because it seems a little bit misleading. And if we run this through a type checker, let's set up mypy, dip install mypy. Uh, if we run this through a type checker, the type checker is going to be okay with this. Let's see, uh, if we run that, yep, yeah, no issues. And if we were to perform the refactor that I suggested, uh, return x, which still also functions the same way, this is still going to return a truthy value in the case where this is an integer or not none. Uh, but MyPy is going to helpfully complain that this is the wrong type. We're returning optional int and we expected a Boolean. So if, if something that uh, you know, called this function and expected a Boolean and used some method that was only available on bool, although I don't know which ones would be there, but uh, nevertheless, this is the wrong type here. Um, so this, this expression is technically right, but I would write it this way instead. And so this is an explicit call to Boolean. Uh, this will call the, the double under non-zero uh, special method of, or magic method of whatever object we have here, and it'll give you an actual Boolean, uh, converting the value into a Boolean. Uh, so this is this is how I would write this instead, and so MyPy is now going to be happy with this. Uh, anyway, that's the first episode of this. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.